Now, I've learned that in Japan, the sky is the limit. But for the 2020 Olympics, it turns out it's not. One of the many projects aiming to make it a spectacular event is something that promises to beat any firework display you've ever seen. A plan to put a micro satellite into orbit that will, at the right moment, fire tiny particles into the atmosphere that will burn up and become on-demand shooting stars. This is Project Sky Canvas. The magic begins in a small pink building in Wakayama. There you go. Okay. So this is the vacuum chamber experiment facility. Wow. And this is where you simulate space. Yep, this is where we test out the whole apparatus and the satellite and the devices to make sure that everything works fine and the shooting star particles come out in the space environment. So these are the different prototypes of the shooting star particles that we're experimenting with. And they essentially burn in different colors when they're re-entering the atmosphere. Oh, wow. So right now we have blue, orange, and green that have been tested and seen on the ground. We're experimenting with different materials to see colors and different brightnesses. And what are these made of? Can't, can't tell. <laughs> secret sauce, yep. they're made from secret sauce, yep. love secret sauce. Yep. And in fact, it took five years to get the composition of the particles right so that they burn brightly enough to be seen on the ground from up to 200 kilometers away. All this equipment will eventually be squeezed into a cube satellite measuring 50 centimetres on each side and preloaded with up to a thousand pellets. So what's going to happen in outer space is we send a signal saying we want 10 shooting stars over, I don't know, the Big Ben? Is it the Big Ben? It's, the, the, yeah, the Big that'll ben. do. Yeah. yeah, the Big Ben. Then we send it a signal and that gets here and the, the stepping motor essentially makes this turn. Testing is ongoing to make sure that they can fire the pellets with enough accuracy to be seen at the right time in the right place as they fall through the atmosphere at nearly eight kilometres a second. And in fact, allowing everyone to share in the wonders of the solar system was the reason that astronomer and founder Lena Okajima created the project in the first place. It was 2000, uh, 2001. I went to mountain to watch the shooting stars with my classmate. And it was very nice, wonderful shooting stars. At first, I think this is easy because uh -huh. I just put the small ball into the atmosphere. But step by step, I found it is difficult. <laughs> D difficult, but uh, it is challenging, uh, not impossible. 